What is going on guys? It's Awana Turtle and today we're doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. We are opening up a box of the new, uh, I don't know what to call this, mini set kind of box exclusive thing, dual power. <laughs> uh, so there's a bunch of different stuff in here. They got like an actually okay playmat. I have mixed feelings about those which we'll get into. Six packs and then six promo cards. A lot of them are, actually I think most of them, almost all of them are reprints, but they kind of just put a lot of powerful stuff. Uh, so we'll see if we can't pull some hand traps, maybe an infinite permanence and evenly match or something like that. So there's a lot of um, really strong cards in here that we'll see if we can't pull. Um, I think there's a kind of like nostalgia factor, but to be honest, I don't, I'm not familiar with all of those because I think they're from shows that I haven't necessarily seen. But either way, looking forward to this. Let's get into it. All right, so let's get into this. I'm hoping to use that playmat as a background, but sometimes like the box, the thing is like really folded up. Um, ooh, the cards are a little disheveled. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. We should have six packs and here's the promos. And we have six booster packs. I think so. I do have like a sealed box of like the Mega Kaiba collection something. And I, I kept sealed just because I, I feel like that one's pretty cool, and only comes that one only comes with three packs. So this is what the playmat looks like. We have Neos, the Dark Ma oh, that is the Dark Magician. On the back side, we have some more really cool cards. Let's see if I can't. This isn't gonna go very well, guys. All right, let's see. All right, not that you can make out what's going on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sorry about that. I'll have to give it some more thought next time, but it should do. And so let's take a look at these promos. That's a pretty cool Dark Magician. Yu-Gi-Oh! So I feel like Pokemon sometimes can be lazy and Yu-Gi-Oh! sometimes is uh, like they I don't know how many versions Dark Magician and Blue Eyes but they do a pretty good job of making it okay without seeming too lazy because some of these alternate arts this one is pretty cool not gonna lie Elemental Hero Neos such a cool card fuses there's like a billion fusions with them we have a Stardust Dragon Synchro. Number 39 Utopia. Uh, I think it's the that's from like the Zexel set where that's like this main guy. And then Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Maybe this is from like uh, the V Range show or something. And then a Deco Talker. Maybe this one is. I'm not sure. So pretty cool cards right there. Put them off to. Uh, not sure. I don't want to damage these. I don't want to take too much time to sleeve them, so I'll just kind of... Alright, now I'm I'm the one that's being lazy, sorry. Alright, but let's get into these six packs. They feel super light. There is only five cards. I think this is kind of like uh, Infinity Chasers, but should be much more beefy. Um, but it's kind of like all ultra rares or super rares or something like that. Alright, let's see. We got a Soul Pendulum. That's pretty cool. Dark Magic Circle. This must be something with Dark Magician. Yep. Dark Magician support. And I do like how they kind of like, there's so many archetypes and they just continue to provide more support for them. This one's cool. It's like Guy the Fierce Knight. Only it's a Dark Magician on top. So yeah, let's see. Dark Magician plus a Warrior. Turns into Dark Calvary. Pretty cool. And then a Righty Driver. <laughs> Looks like a... Uh, a little chibi anime character and Link Disciple not familiar with all these cards but I don't think any of those are crazy good hits but they do look really cool let's get into the next pack so some of the hits that I'm aware of is like the hand traps um, basically like little, something something little girl and something else <laughs> all right and the names are kind of hard to read hot red dragon Archfiend King Calamity. There's a lot going on there. And then Tactical Exchange. That looks like a Borlo Dragon, kind of. A Necroz of Bryoniac. Ooh, Toon Dark Magician Girl. I do like that. Let's 
put this one over here for now. Until something better comes on. Oh, the card is like so small. And then a Archmage Rosemary. Grab a quick sleeve for her. Quick sleeve that is a oversized sleeve as for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And there we go. Two Magician Girl. Do have some more sleeves just in case. Don't want to damage any of the cards. All right. So if you guys do enjoy this content, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. As always, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe for future content. We have a Divine Serpent Ga. Yeah. <laughs> I believe this is uh, like a, people say it's like OCG import from the Japanese set. So I guess what that means is that the compared to Pokemon, like it's not just straight. Ooh, here's one of those hand traps, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Pretty cool. So basically um, when a when your opponent does something you can just discard this from your hand as opposed to setting a trap card so it makes it um, very hard to prevent compared to trap cards like when you set it down maybe your opponent will destroy it before you can activate it so very nice to get one of those I think there's a couple more like ghost girl and haunted haunted mansion building tower or something <laughs> And there's some, yeah, I think there's some different ones in like that Kaiba set that I kind of <laughs> refused to open. All right, let's see. We got a Necroz of Unicor. That's a pretty cool art. Miracle Fusion. So it's Elemental Hero Special Fusion card. Bond between Teacher and Student. So more Dark Magician support, which is nice. And then Fright Furk Patchwork. Followed by Shadal Construct. Actually, I think this card might be pretty good. Can't remember. All right, we got two packs left. I do like opening the set. Not sure how many I'll open. These boxes are a little expensive, or at least um, for just six packs. I feel like it's like five dollars a pack, which is I feel like it's kind of high. All right, let's see. We got a Dark Magician Twin Burst, Double or Nothing Slot Machine, Security Dragon. That looks weird. And then a Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon. That looks awesome. I feel like a lot of times they take something like the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon and then they just add like random adjectives to it. Full Armor version. <laughs> and then a Signal Warrior. Alright guys, a last pack. Not sure if any of these are super good. If there is like a really great poll that I'm not aware of, let me know in the comments below. I'm just kind of here to appreciate the art and oh I just I do I am a fan of the game. But I'm not gonna pretend to understand everything about it. We got a star seraph sir sovereignty. It looks like a chair. <laughs> we got a really cool looking chair. We got another one of those oh lefty driver this time. Interesting. <laughs> a Archmage Jasmine. A little magician kind of thing. El Shadal Fusion, and then a Paraplant Spider Orchid. Hmm. All right, so we definitely didn't get anything crazy. I'm pretty sure we didn't get any of the crazy good pulls. This Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit is pretty good, and this Two Magician Girl just tunes uh, are always pretty cool. Uh, I, I remember the rules of Toon Monsters were very complicated, and then the show, they were just like ridiculously overpowered, uh, and then when in the actual cards, they're not nearly as good. Um, but either way, still a very cool card. Happy to have pulled it. Um, so, that's all we have for today, guys. If you did enjoy that video, again, hit that like button down below. It really helps the channel grow and reach new viewers, and... Yeah, hope you're enjoying this Yugo content. We're going to keep going for, for a good while. Uh, so look forward to more. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.